Hello guys, in today's tutorial we're going to improve our blinking, our blinking through walls. Anyways, what we're what we're going to do today is a dashing, and this dash thing. I'm I'm calling these names because they were they're what they called in League of Legends, but it doesn't matter much. So okay, if this is our dashing distance, the distance that as we can travel, but in the end point is in terrain that we can't go then it will go instead of going to the nearest point so the nearest point from this point it will be here it will go into here into this zone instead of going here like it is right now so what we're going to do is to make to send the recast from here to the end point find all the collisions and check the nearest one in that path to the end point so let's do that and we're going to do that with the recast hull and as you can see here it gives us an array of recast hits in this case 2D in our case 2D of, of collisions and that's what we're going to use so as you may recall here in our uh, link, to, link to script that is in our player this script over here we have this through walls variable that told us if it was if it could blink through walls or it couldn't and that we want to program if it could because it here we want it to go through this wall and go directly into here so this is the part if it doesn't go through walls this is the part if it did go through walls and this is and this is the, the relevant part that we did this will all be erased Anyway, this part checked if the point, the end point, meaning this point, was actually occupied. And if it, and if it is, then we want to use that recast all thing. So let's start doing that. So first off, let's delete all of this. This was just something temporary. So I'm going to create a variable in the top. I could create it over there, but I'm going to put it here. Anyways, we can see 2D hits, and this is a, an, an array, so like so. And in here, if the endpoint is inside the uh, terrain, then we want to make the hits equal to the physics 2D, the precast all, and the origin will be the transform dot position. The direction will be well the direction of the player, which is just like in the in previous tutorials, vector to dot right times transform dot local scale dot x, which is like because the vector to dot right is when the the scale is one times minus one it will be left, which if the scale was minus one then it will be the vector left instead of the vector right and that's basically the direction that we want to go from here if it is facing right and into here if it's facing left so transform dot local scale dot x times vector 2 dot right and the distance is of course the distance over here in the top which is the distance so which is the distance the maximum distance travel like so and now this will give us the hits over here and to show you what this is doing I'm going to actually make a loop here in the on draw gizmo so that you can see them here in the inspector so I'm going to put here for each raycast hit to the h in hits then we're going to draw it here. So we're going to we'll do gizmo dot draw wire sphere, and we just have to give it the center, and the center is the edge dot point, and the size can be something like 0.2 float. And uh, if you don't know, I'm going to show you what recast hits. What uh, recast hit 
and I want the 2D so here it is so it, it holds a point which is the, the point in space where it collided the normal which we are going to use today and it's basically the point in the direction of the surface so say we hit this surface then if this point is the if, if then if this point is the end point then the normal which it's the the vector that goes out of that surface so it will be something like this a point a vector to dot left basically and if it was here it will be vector to dot up and you know it's just like that there's also this distance which is the distance from the ray to the impact point which is also useful and and the other stuff doesn't matter much so anyways now now I'm going to show you this working so it right now it isn't doing anything it just is it's just displaying the the hit so if I hit L to blink you'll see that in here are displayed the two points where there were collisions so basically this ray cast this hits array has two elements on it one in here and one in here and in this case we would want to teleport into here but imagine this this case if I go a little bit forward and press the link key you'll see that I could also teleport into here but there's not there's no there's nothing in here I could I shouldn't be able to teleport into here because it isn't near a surface so we're going to use that hit normal to check if there's something available for us to be in here before it hits it so the normal of this collision will be here a uh, vector to dot left pointing here so we will check if there's here something if there's here a uh, terrain or not and then we will put the player there okay so we have here the, the hit points the hits and now we're going to make it for each loop uh, <coughs> of recast hits to the age in the in the hits array and we want to cycle through all of these things and find the the point that is nearest to the to the end point and it can be also traveled to so in this case instead of being this one it will be this one so I'm going to also have to create a variable to hold the best point so I'm just going to put here vector three best point save it and now I want here to make the, the first I have to initialize before the loop I have to initialize the best point and this is and I want the best point to be equal to something I, it doesn't matter what so I'm going to make it equal to the first point of the its array it, it just has to be something inside this array so I'm just going to choose the first element because there will always be a first element if you go into this part of the code and now here we want to make an if clause and some, if something happens we want to switch the best point so what we want to do is to check if the age dot distance which is the distance from the from the player to that point to that collision point if that distance is smaller then the distance from the this point to the player so to use to to do that you have to do vector to dot distance from the point best point to the player so transform dot position if the age dot distance is smaller than this then it can oops then which we want to substitute the best point so we would want the best point to be equal to the age dot point which would be the point in world space where that ray hits and right now let me show you what's happening by doing here uh, gizmos dot draw wire sphere at the best point and change its color gizmos dot color this is this isn't needed I'm just going to I'm just doing this to show you hello save and now if I hit play 
and if I press uh, blink, you can see that that's the best point, and you don't want this to be, to be the best point, because so we have done something wrong. We want this to be the best point right now. So if the edge distance is is actually bigger than the than the distance from the best point to the player, then we want that point to be the best point. So right now, I press L. As you can see, that's the best point. But just like I said in a, a bit earlier, we don't want that to be the best point. The best point has to be near the surface. And to detect that, all I have to do is to put here also another an if clause checking a point. So we're going to make here physics 2D dot overlap and I'm going to put this here below because it's gonna be big. Physics 2D dot overlap point. If you don't know we use and we use this function in the last tutorial, it basically checks if a point in space is occupied with something, is colliding with something. So if physics dot overlap point and we want that point to be not the point not the edge dot point, meaning not the point where it collided, but the point before it collided. So like over here or over here before it collided. So I'm going to do h dot point plus h dot normal times uh, point free float. And we could also give it a mask if you, you want to be more precise, but it's not actually needed. So right now what this is checking if this h point is further away than the previous point, and if the that point is actually uh, can actually be traveled to. And to show you what I'm doing over here, I'm just I'm going to also put it in this for each loop in the gizmo. So gizmo dot draw line, and this line goes from the edge dot point to that over there, and that was this. And this will show us what we're actually doing. Okay, so I've saved. Now in here, I press L. You'll see that there's the, those little lines over here, and what we are doing is checking if in these lines over here, there's actually uh, colliders, and if they are not, then it means that we can teleport there. So. So basically, I want to check if there is there isn't a collider there. If there isn't a collider there, then it will switch it. So put that uh, exclamation point there. So right now, if I go into here and press L, as you can see, that's the best point, and that's where we want to travel to. So just to end it, all you have to do is after that for each loop plays, you just want to make the transform of position of the player to be equal to the best point. If I save, go into here, play, you'll see that the best point will always be the nearest point. So it goes over here, and if I put it, if I wanted to go over here, it go, it will go only over here, like so. And you know, as you can see, it's working fine. And that's it for today, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and see you in the next tutorial.